Welcome to the channel. Today I will be looking at different types of thermostat or AC cards, as some of you are not the biggest fans of the official Home Assistant card with the Arc slider design. In this video, we'll take you through some different options to give you a wider choice for that perfect match of aesthetics and functionality for both desktop and mobile requirements. So let's dive on into the world of thermostat cards. So first off, let's have a look at the official Home Assistant thermostat card and look at its features. I've already created a sample dashboard for demonstration purposes. Navigate to your dashboard, press the three dots in the top right hand corner, edit dashboard, press add card, search and select for thermostat and select. Your entity field will only show entities that start with climate. Search for and select your climate control. There is an option to be able to switch the mode and the temperature around. There are two additional features that you can add in for mode and fan speed. I personally like to include these. Press the down chevron, press add feature, select your feature, repeat for the second feature and press save. This card is simple, clean, easy to use, although a little large on the desktop. Although I do have to agree that the arc slider is too large and not really required. Our next thermostat card comes as part of the mushroom cards. These are cards that were developed by Paul Botinia, AKA Pitya, sorry about the pronunciation of your name, Paul, and have the features of a compact minimalistic with vertical and horizontal layouts. They cover the full HVAC functionality and are collapsible. As these are custom cards and come from the Home Assistant store, you're going to have needed to install hacks. If you don't have hacks already installed, follow the pop-out in the link above. Navigate to Hacks, Front End, Bottom right hand corner, explore and download repositories. Search for Mushroom and select. Press the blue download button in the bottom right hand corner and confirm with download. You'll need to reload your browser. Once reloaded, navigate to your thermostat dashboard. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner, edit dashboard. Now add a card, search for climate. The custom mushroom climate card should appear. Select this. In the entity, it will only show entities that are appropriate that start with the word climate. Give it a name. Optionally, give it an icon. In my case, air conditioning. I like to turn on the fill on containers, the temperature controls, and collapse the temperature controls, and I'll leave the rest of them as default. Press save. As we turn on the collapsed option, if you now press and hold on the actual card, it will bring up controls that are very much similar to the official card. The benefits of using this card are that it is very minimalistic, and that it has additional functions when you actually press and hold on the card to give you the full functionality of a thermostat control card. This is the card that I tend to use on my mobile devices. Our next card is one of the most compact yet versatile thermostat cards. It not only gives you the full functionality of a climate control, but it also allows you to display additional climate sensor information, such as status, power usage, humidity, and target temperature. It is also collapsible to allow for a compact design. This is a card that you can really tune to your specific needs. Check out the links in the description for the GitHub page for the full list of available options. Navigate to Hacks, Front End, Explore and Download Repositories, Search for Mini Climate Card and select. Press the Download button and confirm with Download. Now reload your browser. Now head back to our thermostat dashboard. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner and edit your dashboard. Add Card. Search for your Mini Climate Card and select. You'll notice in the preview that the current temperature is showing as NAN. We're going to correct that by putting some additional code in to display the current temperature. Go to the GitHub page, scroll halfway down and you'll see a section of code in relation to the current temperature. Copy this section of code and paste into the YAML editor. In the source entity at the bottom on line 10, we need to type in the entity ID for the sensor temperature in the room. Now in the preview, it will show a target temperature at 25 degrees and the current temperature at 24.3 degrees. And we can press save and now press done. The functionality of the new card is very simple. Where we have the snowflake, we can select the mode and where the three dots are at the bottom of the actual card, if we press that, we can change the fan speed from auto, low, medium, or high. We can adjust the temperatures by using the up and down chevrons to set our target temperature. 
a very versatile card and allows for a lot of functionality in a very small space. The simple thermostat card is another Hacks thermostat card. It aims to give us a simplistic card that still has the full functionality that comes in two different flavors of compact and a larger variety which provides with easier controls. Like the mini compact card, it is extremely customizable, even allowing you to specify the fonts and colors of the labels used. Full details are available from the GitHub page, links in the description. To add the card, navigate to Hacks. Front end, explore and download repositories. Search for and select simple thermostat card. Press the download button and confirm with download again. As before, you'll need to reload your browser. Press the reload button. Head back to our thermostat dashboard. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Edit dashboard, add card. Search for simple thermostat and select. Use the drop down on the entity to select your air conditioning. In the toggle entity, this will be the switch that turns on or off the air conditioning. At the moment, the cards are all pressed over to the right hand side with an entity ID name. To remove this, turn off show mode headings and save. This is the basics of the card. However, I'll put in the description below how you can turn this card into this card. A lot more feature rich, a little bit larger, but very simple to control. The code for this will be in the description. The Better Thermostat by Tobias Haber. Links in the description to the GitHub repository built on the Home Assistant Thermostat card by utilizing its arc slider for temperature selection and adds multiple switches and sensors to allow for mode changes, fan speed plus additional sensors that can be configured. It also has some advanced features such as letting your window sensors disable your heating or turning on your AC based on the weather along with low battery warnings for related sensors, to name just a few. Configuration of this card is a whole video on its own. If you'd like a more detailed video on this, let me know in the comments below. As this is a Home Assistant Community Store integration, let's head over to Hacks on the left-hand menu. Front end, explore and download repositories. Search for Better Thermostat UI. Press the download button in the bottom right. Confirm with download. We'll need to reload our UI now we head back to our thermostat dashboard. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner, edit dashboard, add a card, search for and select better thermostat. In the entity ID, select your air conditioning, give it a name. You can now set various different configurations associated with the visual representation of the card on the screen. I'll leave these for you to play with and to set to your specific requirements. Our sixth thermostat card is also developed by Paul Bottin and is available from the Home Assistant Store. It's probably the most minimalistic of all the thermostat cards, but it's also the most limited in its controls. Links in the description to the GitHub page. This card basically allows you to turn on or off your climate control and turn on various different preset states for temperature and mode. These are defined by what states your climate controls allows. As these are presets, this code also means that you'll need to define each of these in the code. Although not hard, this does mean you'll need to enter these into the card YAML code. To be able to see what mode your climate control allows, head into your developer's tools, then into states, inside of the entity filter entities, type climate. On the right hand side are the attributes. In the filter attributes, you'll be able to see the HVAC modes and the fan modes that you will be allowed to define. Now let's go back into Hacks and install this card. Go into front end, in the bottom right hand corner, explore and download repositories. Search for climate mode entity and select. Select the download button in the bottom right hand corner and confirm with download. You'll need to reload your UI and now we can go and add this card to our dashboard. Head over to your thermostat dashboard, press the three dots in the top right hand corner, edit dashboard. Press the add card in the bottom right hand corner now search for and select manual. Now we're going to have to switch back to the GitHub page. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll see a configuration for multi-mode config. Press the copy in the top right hand corner of the code. Switch back to your home assistant and replace the configuration. Now we're going to have to change the entity to our climate control. Assumptions were made in relation to the valid modes. We need to change these to match our modes. We'll do a split screen 
back into the developer tools. The code that we obtain from GitHub is on the left. Our available modes are on the right. We need to now match these off. For instance, the first icon is for heat, with a fan mode of on high and a swing mode is set to auto and there's a color. If we check over to the right hand side onto the available codes, we can see that heat is available as a valid mode. However, in fan mode, we only have auto, low, medium and high. Therefore, our fan mode in our code, which is on high, is not valid. Therefore, we must change this to a valid code. Swing mode is not supported as an attribute. Therefore, this line can be removed. We now need to repeat the same exercise across all of the different modes to make sure that they match off against valid modes for our attribute. Once we finish with our modifications, we can press the Save button. Now I suggest going back into the Edit mode and a UI will be brought up. Let's give this a title. I like to turn on the color icons based on state. Now in my case, this is an old air conditioning system and does not have a HVAC mode of off. So therefore I'm gonna to have to add an additional element into it. Therefore I'm gonna to have to add an additional entity to be able to turn on and off the HVAC system. This entity is a SwitchBot hub that transmits an IR signal to the HVAC system to turn on or off. Now we can press save and press done and our client entity row card is finished. So that's six different thermostat cards that are easy to add and modify to add to your home assistant dashboards. Each will have their own strengths and weaknesses, but all have the base functionality and usability. For me, I prefer the minimalistic design, but the card must have full functionality. To achieve this, I use a combination of cards. For my mobile devices, I use the mushroom cards, allowing for compact full functionality. While on the main dashboard, I prefer the better thermostat card but everyone will have their own preferences and user cases, so your design will be different, but at least you have the options to pick from now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, then please give it a like, comment below on what you enjoyed or have questions, and consider subscribing to the channel and dinging that bell to be notified of similar new content. Until the next one, stay frosty.